Hello, I'm Keith Elson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another accessory review for you. And today I have another offering from ProTech. Now, this is the ProTech iPack tenor trombone case, the IP306TT. So this is not exactly a new case. This case has been around, I believe, three or four years now. And it, I think, provides a really nice complement to their standard Pro Pack uh, tenor case. And of course, these are available in with bass trombone as well here. But there are some real innovations with the iPack cases that I think are really, really well thought out um, in terms of, you know, some of the storage and some of the weight, the size, of all of them. So we are going to take a little bit closer look so you can see some of these features in detail. So right away with the IP306 CT iPack tenor trombone case here, we can see it's got a lot of the same features that we see from all of other Protex uh, cases and kind of overall designs here. So first off, um, they're using, you know, high quality zippers. So um, apparently they are still using the YKK zippers, which are kind of the industry standard for zippers, which is important because especially when you have a zipper case like this, you want to make sure that you are going to have some longevity out of those zippers. If the zippers fail, if they start tearing, or if you start having issue with the zipper itself, well, then your, your case becomes increasingly difficult to use or eventually useless. So it's good that we've got high quality zippers going on. Um, again, we're using their, what they call their ballistic fabric. This is the Cordura style fabric, you know, very, very, um, you know, long lasting. It, it takes a lot of wear. Um, it's tear resistant. So you're going to get a lot of longevity out of it. And they do little things. I like that down here on the bottom, you know, this wear on, you know, the bottom of the the feet here, or essentially where the bell is, that a lot of times gets some extra wear. And so I like that they've done additional heavy duty fabric here to help protect that area. Um, of course, we've got a couple of different straps here. We've got the padded strap right here to hold it like this. And we do have the subway strap as well, which again, with this kind of design where it is a little bit taller, um, and is a little bit bottom heavy, that subway strap does make, you know, moving the case around, holding onto it really, really handy. And I do like that these cases are really, really stable because they've got feet on the bottom. They've got these rubber feet here and actually underneath here as well, as well as along the side here. So they're very, very stable, whether you set them upright or whether you set them like this. And um, again, I think it's, it's nice they keep the instrument out of dirt and water. So if you are doing traveling, I've certainly traveled with cases on, you know, light rail trains, subways, etc. And if you're setting it down and it's, you know, it's wet, it's muddy, dirty, etc. Well, it's awful nice to know that we've got those feet there instead. And of course, these like the uh, Pro Packs and like some of the other cases, they do um, have the ability to use their uh, backpack setup as well. So again, the backpack goes here, here, here. So the bell section go up by your head and this goes down by your feet and it can use that universal system. Um, these do also come with a shoulder strap as well in our storage pouch on the outside. So it has a nice sized uh, storage pouch. One of the big things we always get questions about is, is it large enough to hold a folder of music? Not really. <laughs> um, you know, even this where they're trying to make it larger, trying to use what space they have with the case, it even here, it's not even not even really wide enough to fit like an eight and a half by eleven, um, you know, folder of music. Let alone like one of the larger folio sizes there. So we don't have that, but we do have a lot of storage there. We've got, of course, our shoulder strap here, and we've got a really nice pouch here for all of your oils and greases and pencils and kind of all of your your musician bits and bobs are all included there. Now, when we open it up here. Good, and we've got this extra, this is what they call the quick lock feature here. So that way, if you want to keep the case closed without undoing the zipper, say, you know, you're at a rehearsal, you need to set it up, but you don't have the instrument inside, obviously. You can put that on there, holds the case together, so you don't have to be dealing with the zipper, which is kind of nice. So, now we're gonna go ahead and open it up here. Got it, so, very good. So inside, we can see We've got our instruments. So I, in this case, I picked a Bach 42. And I, I love using the 42 when working on these cases or looking at the cases because um, if it'll fit a standard Bach 42, especially with this long tuning slide like here, 
um, then boy, it's gonna likely fit most configurations, at least as far as the length that goes here. So we can see, again, part of the idea with the iPad cases here is that we're having a more open interior. With the Pro Pack series, the contoured series, um, they have you know kind of the standard setup, so you've got all of the contoured padding, the instrument just sits right inside of there and then straps in. With the iPad series, they're really taking a page from uh, Marcus Bona and a few others where they're doing a much more open design here here, and really just using padding in the right spots to give the instrument the protection, the cushioning, kind of suspending the instrument within the case. Um, and again, I think this case, the IPAC series, does a really nice job with this. So down at the bell section, we've got this contoured cushion here that holds the bell in place. And then of course, we've got the strap right here that holds the valve section down. One of the things I really like about this design is right here. This is what they call a tenon brace, and this is adjustable, so you can move this lever back and forth here. And what that does is it really lets you fit kind of exactly how long your instrument is. And the idea there is that if your instrument takes an impact, if, you know, say for example, you have it sitting upright and the case falls down, instead of landing on the bell and in the bell taking, you know, a lot of that pressure, instead, the tenon brace right here it pushes against there and it helps prevent that impact from the bell. And frankly, it just helps to kind of suspend it there and keep everything nice and tight, which I really, really like. Um, so the slide obviously goes back here. Um, one thing I have noticed with these is because of how short they're trying to make it, certain slides um, can be just a little bit on the long side. So for example, with this, when I'm closing the case, the tenon, is just coming up against the edge of the case right here. So, um, and again, it fits, it's just fine, but it's something to be aware of with these is that, you know, we wanna be really careful when we're fitting our slides in there because it doesn't take much. If we had it out sitting a little too far, you know, again, we're impacting the slide there. We're putting undue pressure on the slide, which is really the last thing we want to have happen. So something to be aware of there. And then of course, we've got this cushioning up on top. We've got a couple pads underneath here. Um, they say, I've tried these with a variety of cases. These will take, you know, up to axial flow valves. Um, I think probably the only valve I haven't tried in here is probably the, the old Bach K valve. Um, you know, and those, you know, where you have a little bit interesting length sitting underneath here, you might have to refit things, but again, that's the nice thing. All of these pads under here, all of these are all movable. So you can go through and you can really, just like the Marcus Bona, just like some of the other designs out there, you can go through and really custom fit this case to what your exact instrument needs, uh, which I think is really, really nice. And then a um, couple of little features. We do have a storage compartment here. Um, they do have a mouthpiece pouch, so that way you've got some internal storage for your mouthpieces, oils, greases, whatever you want to keep in there. And they actually do have a nice little spot right here along the edge of the slide separator for a cleaning rod. So you can slide your cleaning rod right in there if you want to have that. Again, a nice little feature from them, I think. So in addition to all those features, like I mentioned at the beginning, these do offer a little bit more of a compact and a little bit lighter weight option, especially when compared to their Pro Pack cases here. So for example, the iPack tenor case here in here comes on just around you know eight and a half pounds. That's compared to the uh, Pro Pack, the little bit larger case with all of that extra padding that comes in at almost 11 pounds. So you're cutting almost two, two and a half pounds off of the weight there. For a lot of folks, that can really make a difference. And they are a little bit more compact. Now, the base down here is pretty similar, but um, as far as the overall length, they are a couple of inches shorter as well. Um, again, they're able to accomplish all this because they do have more of that open design with the interior. Now, what does that break down to? Well, overall, I think, you know, for the price, and these are typically about $20, $30 more than the, the Pro Pack cases, but I think for the price, they offer a great amount of protection as well. Um, I think if you are looking for something that is a little bit more compact, um, it is a little bit lighter, um, and or if you just have an instrument where you need to have a little bit more room, we've certainly run into a few situations with the Pro Pack cases where depending on the exact configuration of especially your bell section, your own valve section, it can sometimes get a little bit tight because of that open nature of the, of the design, you may have a little bit more flexibility with that. Now, of course, one of the big questions that always comes in is what about flying? So. Here's where there's a little bit of a push and pull here. Um, 
like the Pro Pack cases, I really don't think you're going to be able to get these onto you know flights. You're not going to be able to carry this on mostly because of the base down here. They just have such large bases still, and frankly, they are a little bit on the tall side. I think you're going to have a tough time carrying on to any but the largest planes out there. So then, of course, the other option is, well, then I can check it. Here's one area where I would be at least a little cautious about checking, you know, these cases with the Pro Pack cases because they do have that thicker shell, because they do have all of that contour padding around the instrument because of how everything straps in there. I have a high level of confidence that there's not going to be any buckling or anything like that with those cases. With the Pro Pack cases, because everything does have a little more flex, they're a little bit lighter, there's more of that open space there. And even while these do a great job of securing the, you know, the instrument, you know, the bell section slide, everything in place, I would be at least a little more cautious about checking this. You know, because of that lighter construction, I think the shell does have a little bit more give. Again, it, you know, unless you're dropping a tuba on it or something, I don't think the case is going to buckle, but I think it would be something thinking about. If you were looking for a case to truly, you know, I'm going to be just checking baggage there, you know, but I'm not interested in ordering one of the, you know, the huge SKBs or a tank case or anything like that, you know, the, the, the ProTech Pro Pack, I think is a good way to go. If you were looking at doing a lot of checking, you know, with, of your luggage, I would think twice about this, but for everything, you know, if you're looking for a hard case and you're doing, you know, over the road travel, if you're doing, you know, obviously stuff around your town, you know, back and forth to gigs, performances, all that kind of stuff there, I think these are a great value for the price here. And they've got all of that ProTech quality happening with it as well. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the review here. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comments. I or other members of our community here would love to answer that, would love to learn from your experience. Please check out our other you know, accessory views and all of our other videos on our channel here as well. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our channel, clicking that notification button so you can find out when we have our next video coming out. And of course, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as well. So thanks as always for watching.